This is that air raid siren. Woo! Air raid siren, boys and girls, that means the rectifiers are starting up. Woo! 86 101, boys and girls, there she is. At Londonium Euston and looking a million dollars in her intercity livery. How hellfire is this? Named after the one and only Sir William Stanier. And look at all that electrical equipment there. Woo! And of course, the intercity livery logo. Follow and all associated things. Driver getting out of the cab there, just like in VR days. What I'll do is just walk through quickly. There's a cab. Doesn't she look a million dollars? 86101 looking absolutely top notch there. There we go. Absolutely a spot on. Even in this dire day in Houston, she can still brighten up the proceedings with the best of them. Here come the crew into the cab. Bringing back the old British Rail into city days. Good times. And still with that distinctive class 86 wine hum and rattle. That these cans are well known for. So what we're going to do, we'll go we'll walk to the other end of the train and then we'll see what's happening. So I just need to pick up my bag and here we go, right. What we're going to do, we're going to look, have a little walk to the other end of the train. And in doing so, we're going to look at these beautiful intercity liveried Mark 3A carriages with their little lights on. Superb. Intercity Mark 3 carriages, guys. Intercity Mark 3. Woo! And double woo! Now, what we're going to do, we're going to walk to the other end of the train where 9001 is located and we'll get some pictures of that. Seeing as we're here, it'd be rude not to, wouldn't it? Ah, this has brightened up my dull Friday afternoon here in Euston. Yeah, oh, just lovely to see char charter trains like this which take me back to my younger days of my teenage years in the late 80s and early 90s, just when I was growing up at that right time, before privatisation came along and pissed everything up the wall. So we're coming up to the southern end of Houston Station now, the time on the clock being 17 12 hours it's going to leave in about half an hour's time up to Manchester Piccadilly so now we're heading towards the buffer stop to end at Houston station oh, superb just how I remember Houston back in my day so pardon me if my enthusiasm is off the scale but it has to be done. And what we're going to do is we're just going to go to the bottom end. <laughs> so here's a class 90 at the other end in place of the normal DVT. So today's loco is 9001. Intercity livery, the Intercity logo, a 
book renamed Royal Scot, which was of course the name applied to 87001. Here's the other end of 9001 at London Euston, and doesn't she look absolutely amazing? So these class 90s, they were built between 1987 and 1988 for the West Coast Main Line. Originally built as passenger locomotives, uh, many of them were also used as freight locomotives, where they were normally used, where they're still used today, hauling uh, freight line of train services. But they were originally built technically as passenger locomotives. So 90001 and 90002 are painted in the intercity livery that they would have carried when they were brand new back in the late 1980s. So what I shall do, I shall put, stop the video here for a bit and I shall return to you an honour and I shall say tar for the like.